So when I was at my lowest, I felt beat down. I felt burnt out. And I felt like I didn't belong. I felt like I was just a failure and I, f I, I felt like I wasted my life. Growing up, I was always outside playing. I never really was into like video games or playing on the computer. Even through high school, um, it was like a, a routine for me. Like I wake up early in the morning, get my workout in with one of my teammates, and then go to class, then have practice later on in the afternoon. For four years in high school, it was like the same routine. I was always trying to get better at basketball. In college, I was, you know, very committed to athletics and you know my academics psychology was the major I was going for I wanted to move into a field of social work helping others and helping children was always like a passion of mine I felt like I focused so much on that that I lost myself for those that don't know the field of social work and counseling it takes a toll on you mentally and physically you focus so much on helping others that, you know, you forget about yourself. Most of the time I get a case of like physical abuse, sexual abuse, domestic violence, and just being exposed to that stuff like on an everyday basis and seeing the traumatic experience that the kids go through, you're like, man, I wish I could, you know, be there more. For me, I was already giving like 110%, so I was like, what else can I give? Like, I could never get it out of my head. I could never not bring work home. I forgot about myself. I forgot about my own family. I forgot about my girlfriend at the time, and I just reached that breaking point where I didn't know how to take care of myself. As time passed and, you know, I was in the working field and I was so focused on my career, I kind of didn't enjoy going to the gym anymore. And then I fell in love with just being able to indulge in food. I would eat and then just keep going. I just felt like I was so far gone that I couldn't come back and I didn't know what to do. So after some time in my career, I really started to evaluate towards the end of it. Like, you know, is this really for me? I remember like sitting in the car in front of my mom's house with my girlfriend at the time. We were talking about, you know, making a career change and we went through like all the negative aspects of it, what I'd be losing. But then the positive side of it is that, you know, you get to find yourself again. You get to try to move in a direction where you're probably gonna be able to do something that you really love. After some prayer and talking to my soon-to-be fiance, I decided to walk away and to find myself. She went on to tell me like how she fell in love with me and, and how motivated I was and how really competitive I am at everything that I do. It really lit a fire under me to become my best self and transform into someone who could really make a difference. I just started like researching and going on bodybuilding.com. And it just so happened that like around that time when I was trying to do all this, there was advertisements about the next transformation challenge. And I was like, oh, this might be the time for me. This might be something that like I really should commit to. And I knew it was gonna be hard, but I knew it was something that I had to do if I wanted to enjoy my life with my soon-to-be wife. When I first started the challenge, I was about 185, 190. I think I was at like 32% body fat. And then when I ended, whew, <laughs> it's hard for me to believe, but when I ended, I lost 50 pounds. Ended at 135 and about 7 to 8% body fat. I'm still in shock. I feel like the monkey's off my back, like a, the 50 pound monkey that was just weighing on me. If you look at my picture, I never looked 
that ripped before in my life. No matter how athletic I was or how active I was through the years growing up, like I never had a six pack. I thought I never would. Every time I look at that picture, it like, gives me chills. I'm like, I did it. I think the most valuable lesson for me going through this transformation was learning how to make simple changes in life. If you have a dream, you have a goal, don't shy away from it. Go at it full heartedly and just know that if you put in the work that anything is possible.